My name's Oa and I'm the founder of Little Lifts. Little Lifts is a local charity to Norfolk. It was inspired by my own experience of chemotherapy treatment after I was diagnosed in 2014. And during this time, my lovely friends and family put together care packages to help combat side effects I was experiencing, as well as little treats to promote emotional well-being. And this lovely support and kindness I received is what inspired our Little Lifts boxes. And so today we support women who are going through chemotherapy treatment for primary and secondary breast cancer by working directly with oncology teams across NHS hospitals in Norfolk and Suffolk so that women who begin their chemotherapy treatment can receive a Little Lifts box to help them through their chemotherapy. So at the moment, the hospitals we work with are the Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital, the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Kings Lynn, the James Paget University Hospital, and then we've crossed over the border into Suffolk and we now work with Ipswich Hospital and West Suffolk Hospital. My name is Kay and I'm the Operations and Events Executive for Little Lifts. A packing party is when we get members of our wonderful Little Lifts community who are willing to pack boxes for us and they pack boxes that will then go to women who are having chemotherapy treatment for breast cancer. So we take all of the products, um, the flat pack boxes, the tissue paper, stickers, and then the members that are part of our packing party, we then instruct them and show them how to pack a box, and then they can see all of the products, they can learn a little bit about how they can help some of the side effects that women can experience, and then they also have an opportunity to sign a leaflet in the box, so that the person who receives their box knows exactly who packed it for them. So we put quite specific products in our boxes and we're quite particular about the quality of them. So we like to have eco-friendly products where possible, natural, we try and make sure they're organic if we can. And we also like to source local products because we like to support smaller local businesses. We also use focus groups, which is where we have women who have received our boxes come in and tell us about their experience of receiving box, as well as the products that worked and any products which they think would be useful to have in the boxes. And that way we keep the products that are in the boxes specific to the women who are receiving them to make sure they're at the forefront of what we're doing. The boxes are then driven to the hospitals in our Little Lives van, and then the oncology and breast care teams give the boxes out to the patients. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in March 2018. And I was diagnosed in February 2019. I was diagnosed with triple negative cancer in May 2018. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in December 2017. Well, I got my box when I first met my um, oncologist, Dr Alexander, and um, we were obviously not a very nice discussion talking about what was going to be happening. Um, and then she went out and got me the box, and it was in a bag, little lift bag, so I was quite surprised when I got given that. Um, took it home, didn't open it or anything, waited until I got home, and sat by myself and opened it. And there was a lovely little note in there, and different things about what all these things were. And I was just blown away by it all. I was had so much information thrown at me anyway, and since, you know, being told, and things coming from all different directions, and it felt that this was coming from somebody who actually knew. For me, uh, the lolly moulds were pretty amazing because we were going through a heat wave. So they were really, really helpful for me because you don't have much of an appetite, but actually you need to eat something and they were a good way of cooling me down. Um, I found a plastic um, fork, knife and spoon really helpful because I had a desperately sore mouth doing chemo and everything tasted metallic. So it was really helpful to have those items in the box. Um, and I don't know that I'd have thought of it really, from everything, from you just don't know what's gonna, what's coming and what's gonna happen. Everyone can tell you, they tell you the side effects of the, the main things that are coming, but it's the little things, the little silly little, you think silly little things, but someone has gone to the effort to put them in there for you so you know. So there was the sweets and the cordial and all the different things to, to try and help you through. It was, it was reassuring that somebody else had gone through what I'd gone through, uh, had thought about um, what had enabled them to get through that process easier and um, then sharing that with me and that was very yeah it was a it was a reassurance at a very um, difficult time 
for women to get in touch and tell us that the box had made them feel supported, not alone, prepared for chemotherapy and that they could manage it was incredibly, incredibly overwhelming, especially for myself, having been through that situation myself. It felt really special knowing that my experience of chemotherapy was now helping other women that were going through the same situation. Um, it's really important because it supports women who have a view when they're going through chemotherapy of complete darkness and what Little Lifts does is actually bring some form of light to you that you weren't expecting. Uh, it's so important and it has to continue to all the other ladies that are going through chemotherapy because without it you remain in the dark I believe. I think they're really important to them and it just shows that they're having a little bit of care given to them. Obviously everything in the hospital is very medically orientated and this is just a little bit of kindness and niceness outside of that to show that people are thinking of them going through such a difficult time. We do a lot of medical things to patients and this is um, something that is personal to them, treats them as an individual. Um, somebody's taken the time to think of things that would be helpful to them whilst they're having their chemotherapy. So I think it's the personal touch that's important. It's very important because so many um, women are having to have chemotherapy and it's tough, it, it really is, it's a difficult time and it's something that's all new, there's so much to make sense of and so to receive a box that's got all these beautiful comfort items that have been well thought through, you know, they're, they're items that are so relevant to the time and um, again it's just as I say a very a precious thing to receive and just that sense of comfort that it gives you and all of the useful items too where you probably wouldn't have the, the strength or the energy to explore um, you know how things might help you and yet there they all are in this beautiful little box. These are the little things that might happen to you so here's some a box of comfort to help you get through it.